What type of content have you seen created thus far that kind of stands out from a gameplay perspective? We've had some really amazing stuff. From a gameplay perspective, we've had um, a lot of platformers. People make platformers really, really quickly. And in fact, that was one of the first things we wanted to prototype towards, um, was being able to make a sort of speed run style platforming 3D game, much like Mirror's Edge style gameplay. That was one of the first things we went for. And we've done that pretty well already. The Avatar still got a long way to go, and we're looking to make it really smooth and fun, kind of like a Lugaru style uh, sorry, that new game, Overgrowth style gameplay when they're like jumping around through the world. Um, so that that was the first thing. So most people tend to make platformers, but we get all sorts of really interesting stuff. Some people make experiential artwork where you kind of walk into dark rooms where you can't see anything except like a far off light and you kind of walk towards it and then you suddenly get teleported somewhere else and you can see sort of all this abstract artwork around you. Uh, one person uh, made a, Kand a Kandinsky. It's actually included as one of the showcases in the game currently. And you walk around, it kind of doesn't look like a piece of art because it's huge, like absolutely massive. And then you walk onto this area where we've got something which in the game which is called gadgets which is how you make interactive stuff in the world and it brings a invisible floor up underneath you and lifts you up into the sky above it and if you look down through the glass floor it turns into a replica of one of the Kandinsky paintings because it gets smaller and smaller and then as you keep going up there's an exploded version of it because the game has full physics um, which has been frozen in sort of time in the air so you're kind of going through all the objects which make up the piece of art below as you're kind of going up into the air. So you get stuff which is gameplay based, um, we've got some horror games which have been made uh, like Terra Station is included in it as well, very early early demo though so it doesn't have a lot of the features which we will have eventually. Um, and it's, it's, it's infinitely flexible, people will make all sorts of things, I see new things being made the whole time. What are you seeing from a multiplayer perspective that's being created so far? Um, racing games, because the platformers is the most common thing which is made, uh, people make sort of racing platformers. Uh, we're adding sort of time, we're going to be adding time based functionality so people can have scoreboards associated with particular maps which everyone makes and things like that. And we'll have web systems integrated with that so it will be associated with your online profiles and things like that, uh, obviously down the line. Um, but as far as multiplayer gameplay, it tends to be platformers, it tends to be jumping puzzles, uh, it tends to be things like that. A lot of adventure stuff. Um, one of the areas that we're pretty interested in and a core group of gamers which I would love them to get their hands on you because they're all so creative is uh, Minecraft adventure map creators because essentially you've just got a huge pool of incredible creativity and it would be great to see what they could do with sort of a no restriction sandbox um, so yeah I'm looking forward to that how easy is it to, to develop like in general like some of the games you've been talking about how long would it take to create something like a action platformer using your technology Okay, to make an action platformer, so could you give me an example of a game? Well, you just said you, they, there's a lot of action platform games that they've been designing. Okay, so yeah. if, you wanted to make, if you wanted to make something like uh, Little Big Planet, for example, like a kind of thing where you run sideways and you can swing from things and you can, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, you could make, uh, there is an example world which we've currently got in the game called, what was it called? Rooftop Madness, and it's a, a platformer inspired by Limbo and sort of L.A. Noir slash... Um, what's it called? Sin City style sort of artwork. So lots of greys, lots of like bit of tune shading. It looks it looks really really cool and just red writing on the walls. And um, that gay that 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 took uh, one of our team to put together. It probably took him about eight hours. But it is incredibly complex and it has like animated platforms which are all timed to make it difficult to complete it. And bits where you jump through platforms which get hidden and shown by light at different times. So you kind of have to time your run, otherwise you can't see where you're landing and things like that. It's uh, it was it was a really good first map that he ever built. So yeah. So for the average person, like, how, how long would it take to? to jump in and, and start fooling around and getting something playable. To build a simple platformer, 20 minutes, it's fast. You can make stuff really, really quickly. Like One of the building mechanics in Yumu which makes things incredibly quick is, like you know I said you can save anything on the fly. You save things which you've been building, like compartments and stuff like that. So you learn this as you play the game. When you, uh, let's say you're building like a castle or something like that, and you want to build like the towers or the walls or the ramparts. When you make one piece of the rampart, you'll save it as an item and you'll just put it either to the side so you can clone out of it, just click it, clone it, and pull it across and put it in the next place on the map. Uh, or you'll save it in your inventory and you'll just bring it out next time you want to build a castle again or on like another level or something like that or another world. Or a friend might be like, oh, I want to build a castle. You could be like, hey, here, here's all the stuff that I built my castle with. Go ahead and like use all my base assets kind of stuff. Um, but cloning makes things so fast. You can build like one lamppost and a house and a dustbin and like a picket fence, right, and, and have a road. And you can just select the house and the picket fence and all that kind of thing, clone it, dump like five of them in a line, make three different types, and you can almost make a town um, in you know half an hour. 
there's a city uh, which was built, it's not in the game anymore, called White City. Um, it looks like a proper city and it's all uh, grayscale. Um, and uh, it's only got four different building types and with just a few changes on it. And it, that took only like, I don't know, an hour in total to make.